day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And then I set up here for you. His, his, this is a social order. Brother Addison, I'm going to let you read this. This is a social order that is going against the order of capitalism, communism, and the other ism of man's structure. Mm. This one, this one right here is dealing with the, the beatitude. And, and you read from, uh, let me get up here. You read from, where is it? Did I change it? Let me make sure. No, it's supposed to be five, chapter five. Starting at, uh, let me make sure I get this right. Thank you. Poor in spirit. Let me look it up again. Poor in spirit. Poor in, poor in spirit. It was five. Chapter, Matthew chapter five. Look at this social structure. Starting at, uh, well, you can go verse one to 12. Can you see it? can't see one. Oh, there you go. Okay, there it is. Okay. And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Mm -hmm. There is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, mm -hmm. for they shall be comforted. Well, Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Come on. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, yes. for they shall be filled. Uh-uh. Blessed are the merciful, uh -huh. for they shall obtain mercy. Oh, okay. Blessed are, blessed are the peacemakers. Were they you shall appear, be called. Did you, did you appear at heart first? Eight? Pardon? Did you do eight? I don't, I don't remember hearing Yes. That. Blessed are the pure in heart, for yes. they shall see God. Okay. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Come on. Blessed are they which are prosecuted. Uh-huh. For righteousness sake. Come on. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh-uh. Blessed are ye when man shall revile you and persecute you. And shall say all manners of evil against you falsely Come for on. my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, uh -huh. exceeding glad. For great is your reward in heaven. Mm -hmm. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Before you, and and, and so the reason I was uh, talking last week, and and I know that it sounded. Let me get this out of the way. It was striking a nerve because we there was at least an indication from my point of view that some of you were saying or saying, well, we ain't gonna take it no more. Or the young people are not gonna take it no more. Period. And and they want to go a different route in addressing those atrocities. The problem when I say it's not easy being a Christian is if you go by what we just read, uh, he's looking for the peacemaker. He's looking for the merciful. He's looking for those who harm of the righteousness. He's you, you saw you saw the list he was given, okay. and and unfortunately, we can either, as a society or as a race of people, uh, continue to just be dominant and try to hose people down because you can reverse it. You know what I mean? Because that's that's what you can do if you go by the world's way is I'm going to not take no more and I'm going to create pain that was pushed on me. And I want the payment for the pain that was pushed on all my ancestors before me. You know? Uh, that's And that's not what he did when he did what re delivering them out of Egypt was 
I'm taking you out of bondage and I'm taking you to a promised land. Now he's saying that the promised land is not by observation, but it comes in through the Holy Spirit. Uh, you're kind of with me right here with me? <laughs> it's, but it's not easy because the flesh, and that's why I, I, I have you, Brother Addison, as a more moderate speaker, <laughs> is to say, what, based on the beatitude, and based on how we have feeling for the atrocities of the current system that we have. And I asked her before, what is the best approach? And Elder Johnson, you even said a few seconds ago, is they are not going to take it, the, the uh, stuff of the past. But my question is, how is that not taking it going to be addressed? Because what, yeah. I, what I showed you on the scriptures, and I'm going to show you another scripture. As a matter of fact, the next one we're going to be showing is Mark, Matthew chapter 6 where you're talking about the Lord's Prayer. I put it to you this way. If we can look at it and separate why God is doing to us what he's doing, the Lord is not trying to fix the world system, first off. So justice in the world is not something that's going to be accomplished because men are, men are corrupt inherently. No matter how hard we work at it, injustice is going to manifest because that's in the heart of man. What he is doing, what is he doing? I believe, is an obedience check on his people. I think, I think that you, you remember, I, you remember I, in, in the Old Testament, he told them to go in and kill them people out. I think, I think what Brother Addison was saying is that that's, that the answer is not to, and, and Brother Addison, I want to make sure everybody understood me, if, if nobody wasn't understanding me. I am not advocating status quo. I'm advocating doing it God's way. Amen. That, that's the only thing I'm doing different. It, it, I think, Elder, though, for the point you were making, God is saying, look, I, I don't care about this. I'm not trying to fix the society in the sense of fixing it. I'm trying to establish my kingdom. And that kingdom does mean changing the, the, the current system through his it actually, way. It, it, it means establishing his system in the midst of it. In the midst of it, that's in the I'm midst saying. of all the the corruption, in the midst of all the you know the 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 the, 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 the hell. Yeah. We are supposed to manifest a kingdom. Yes. It's perfect. That is that's righteous and just. Right. Not it, changing the people that we're coming in contact with, but not allowing the world system to change us. Right. And, that, and that, you do you do mean it does? I thought. By planting seeds, right? We are changing people's hearts, right? I mean, we change people's hearts. We don't change the, the, the because that's the only way really to improve the system. Because the, the laws are pretty good. It's just that the people's heart won't allow them to keep them. You know, civil rights laws are on the books. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And brother Matt Addison, what I'm trying to say is, is the, the approach is the heart of the people because the people are the ones that run the system. The you know people are the system. The people are the system. And they, but they're, 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 they, when he said the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few, he's saying is, I don't need you to learn to be sowers to plant the seed that changes the hearts of man. Amen. Because if you take, you, there are some good police officers out there, yep. they're Christian based, and they're, they're not into trying to beat the hell out of somebody. They're not trying to do that. I mean, there's no way we're going to put the the, the bad apples with the good apples for the police force. There are good officers out there, and there are Christians out there. And bad apples. What I'm saying is, it's, it's both, remember? Because look, the other parable, when he was talking about the terror and the wheat, he mm -hmm. said they're going to grow together. But in the end, he's going to separate that, the chaff from the wheat. Yeah, I was thinking about that today. You know, yes, while I was out on the... Uh... I was out uh, exercising. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It did come to mind uh, the the ministry that that Jesus did, and, and then the redemptive work, you know, and uh, what he went through 
Yes, sir. And uh, for all mankind. For all mankind. You know, and he he paid twice as much uh-huh. uh, for the penalty of sin. Yes, sir. Now, not just enough for it. Twice is more than enough. More than enough. You know, and um, I was listening to somebody was saying that he he suffered the chastisement yeah. on him to the point to where his face was so disfigured that he wasn't even recognized. Right. That his body was so mangled it did not even look human. Exactly. And that's just the physical damage to him. Yes. And what he said on the cross. Yes, but he said forgive him. Sickness and disease, including mm-hmm. COVID nineteen. Yes, sir. Was on this man. Uh, AIDS, cancer. Yes. Sickle cell. Yes. Everything. Everything. Everything that happened from the fall of man. Yes. Was placed on him. He took all the curse. And yet he still had to lay down his life because he was righteous and an inter- eternal being. Hey, did you catch the part I want to throw at you that I feel being led to tell you in your line of conversation is on that cross, he said, Father, forgive them. Yes. But they know not what they do. But they know not what they do. So uh, thinking about that and uh, and then thinking about the, what? Then my son mumbles. <laughs> I mean, this dude, he's 26 years old and he can stand right next to me and say something to me and I'm not nervous. <laughs> And you and tell him say, hey, look, tell tell him say, God give you the gift to speak plain. Yeah, open your mouth and enunciate, boy. Uh-huh. Sure, whatever. Yeah, tell him tell him he's gonna need to break that one. Say, look, you ain't gonna claim that on. No, uh, I think it's gonna, it's either in my car or in the compartment. Tell tell me he, he's gonna be an oracle of God. Yeah. Just let you know that the oracle of God, young man. And that, that's something that speaks plain with understanding and power and authority. So yeah, that, that boy right there, look, if, if it's going to happen, it's going to be God. Come on, brother. <laughs> that's all right. It God gets the glory. Yes, yes. And, God and, gets the glory. It can't happen. But, but Pastor, uh... Yeah, but your phone is out of sync. You're looking at your arm. <laughs> um, to... to To live this life, come on, come on, and and first of all, to be the the so-called second-class citizen by who? That's and, what I'm saying. Uh, that, 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 those, block, those blocks. That, that's what I'm saying. According to back. the people who are actually running this particular nation, the gods of this world. Gods of this world, but, but the point we're and, saying, and, that's and those saying who are in leadership world. positions that are actually yeah. allowing Satan to use them, right? To, uh, to, to 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 bring about a, 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 a unlawful nation. Yeah, but well, break, break, and that's been happening for foreign and yes. Years well, that's been happening since the fall of, of man, pretty yeah. much. Once exactly. society has had become uh, into being. But, but go ahead. That's what that but in there. What's yeah, that? Yeah, the but is we. If if I just have to keep going back to the the one thing I said last uh, Sunday is that as long as we walk in the spirit, that's the whole point. There. It is. It is of uh, no effect to us. That's it is not even relevant. It's not. It's not true. The, the, the things that are going on in this world are not relevant, in a sense, to where 
it vexes us to the point of needing to go out and do anything. All right. And, and that's that's walking in the spirit. Come on now. Um, we we are to share the gospel. Come on now. And and the gospel is is powerful enough to reconcile those who would hear and receive. Exactly. And 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 the crazy thing is, you go and fish. Yes, sir. You're not trying to catch a certain type of fish. Uh-uh. Well, you don't know what fish you catch nope. until you bring it in. Come on now. And on. you don't know, <laughs> you know, what that fish until that if it's if it's uh, until you catch it. Or better yet, you can't. You don't clean the fish before you catch it. No, you have to catch it first. You got to catch it first. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what the fish look like, when you got what the, the fish net. act like. Nope. You catch the fish. Yes, sir. And you let God do the cleaning. And